Well, welcome to Backyard Woodworking. This week I got a an, kind of a necessity project. This table here, I'll tip the camera and show you, give a better shot of it. Uh, I use for an outfeed table. It's made out of three-quarter plywood. Uh, even the legs are three-quarter. And it is extremely sturdy the way it's built. Uh, this old idea came away from uh, an old uh, video, or video I should say, a TV show that Norm Abrams there from Yankee did years ago. And uh, I got the idea out of that, how, how he did his and changed mine to fit my saw. But at any rate, I have a table here that that's, uh, needs leveling. Now I can go buy a set of levelers, cost me about 20 bucks or so, plus shipping. And that's that's not too bad a price, I guess. They're a nice sturdy metal bracket with adjusting feet. They got little metal feet with a swivel. Very similar to this bolt here. Here's a 5 16 flange bolt, a T nut, a standard nut, and a washer. Brad point bit. 11.30 seconds, 7 eighths Forstner bit, a piece of 2x, this was a hunk of 2x4, uh, I used on another project, I cut the sides off of it, and uh, so it's kind of square now. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make legs for this table, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to take, I have a bolt, these bolts are 3 inches long. So what I'm going to do is, is make about approximately a, a three inch leg. It doesn't have to be three inches. Now here's what I'm going to do anyway. Cut off three inches. And then I'm going to rip this down. So in other words, I'll probably rip this first. I don't like to deal with small pieces. Rip this down. I'm going to uh, turn around and cut three inches off of it. We're going to square it up. Now I can make this inch and a half square. Or make it larger so it screws in these legs. I might even just cut this three inches across and center the bolt on that. That would give me extra room because I can glue it and screw it to the bottom of these the feet on this. To show you what I'm talking about, move the camera here. You can see how this is built. It's nothing but uh, three quarter plywood here with braces. Underneath here, you can see how it how it's made. Up underneath, it's got brace in the middle here. Down here, in the corner of the foot, you can see that. That's where I'm going to attach uh, my leg. Now I could make a, I could put a big block in there and screw it in from the sides if I wanted to. There's a lot of ways of doing it, but this is a simple way that I'm thinking. Now also. Here, here's the legs on my stand here. This is nothing but two by four legs that have been put together with Craig joints and glue. I mean, you can't move these. I mean, they're like a rock. But they're not level, but I don't really need these. But if I had to level them, here's what I would do. Take your bolt, whether it's a flange bolt or, or a regular bolt, now I'm going to take a piece of plywood too and cut this to make a foot. You take this bolt, drill a hole in the bottom of your legs so this bolt can go up inside the leg. Put your T-nut on and you could actually just undo this with a lock, wash, uh, lock nut here. Just jam it like so and that locks it in place and you can level all four legs that way if you have an uneven floor. Now if you, if you happen to have a garage shop uh, being in the construction industry code says that you must have a slant on that out towards the door so in case your car leaks combustible fluids it'll run out the door so in other words your floor ain't level now you can put a wooden floor in or, or re-pour on top of it and make it level if you're not using the garage anymore but get some legs and level your stuff now you could take this wood you could bolt this to a metal leg if you have a square, uh, a place where you can bolt to, you can you can take a, make these legs and uh, bolt it to that. Uh, there's a million things you can do. Screw it to it, bolt it to it, whatever. But I'm just going to show you this very simple 
design and maybe it'll be useful to uh, you guys out there that need to level something. Now I have to level this outfeed table because one end is a little higher than the other because the floor in this shed, this is nothing but a, a, a shed. Uh, you know, you, you can buy it pre-made now. I could have bought the wood and built one probably bigger and better, but I need to, where I am, I need to be able to move it if I have to. So this is movable and this is easy to move and uh, just pulls up in the back of a truck and but whatever. The floor is not level, so I need to level this. And what I'm going to do is cut probably an inch or so off the legs of this table and add these uh, these leg levelers to it. And that way I can perfectly level to my table saw so when I push a piece of wood through it doesn't catch or it doesn't drop down. I'm out about a, oh, maybe a quarter of an inch, so I'm not too far out on this side. I think that over the winter the the support underneath might have, uh, for the frost at all, sunk or one side rose or what, whatever. Anyway, it's not level anymore. So let's get started. All right, I got my little chunk here. I'm going to set my, my fence two inches off the blade and run the piece through. And that way I'll be an inch and a half thick, two inches wide. That'll give me a little extra room to screw this piece here. So if I take, cut this off at two inches, say that wide, that'll give me a little room to put like four screws here and, and the bolt will run up in the center of this. So that's what we're going to do.
it's a fence clip, 3 eighths, you drill a hole in it. This piece of wood is one inch thick. It's good strapped to your fence like that. When you want to cut something close like this, you don't want to jam in the fence. So you set your fence one inch wider than you need the piece set. So in other words, I'm looking for a two and a half inch. I got my fence set three inches, three and a half inches. I can run that through and I got some air here. Won't, won't jam, won't get kicked back. Simple. Everybody ought to have one of them if you're using a table saw. Come, I use it quite often. Just a little tip there. These are great too, made out of three quarter plywood, sanded down. Cheap scrap wood. Make them by the dozen. I got a template I made for them. Make a bunch of them. All right, now that we have these pieces here, we're going to take one of these and one of these blocks and a bolt, and we're going to make a leg. Now here I have the drill press set up uh, with a clamp here to my fence, center dish, and a stop lock here. I'm going to drill me a hole down in the center of this and I can drill my pieces all the same that way. All right, here I have the drill press set up for the feet. All right, now here I'm set up to drill a through hole for the bolt. You can see it right there. Sorry about that, but we... Apparently it ain't tight enough up here. Through hole. Do the rest the same way. Now here we go. Uh, you take your bolt. Put it through the bottom here. Put a washer. And a nut. On it. Here's your block. This is what you're going to attach to your leg. Take a take a T nut. Put that in there like so. Screw this on like this. And you have a foot and a lever. All you gotta do is glue this to the leg. Put a couple of screws here, maybe even put one through this way, and there's your leg. As you can see, these things are fairly simple to make, and they're not that expensive versus going out and buying a, a leg. Now, you can put another nut up here and jam that if you want to. to to keep this from spinning might be a good idea and you could even use a, a lock nut if you want to do that but there you go with a weight on it I don't think it'll spin another idea take a piece of sandpaper cut it to fit or some rubber rubber mat cut it to fit glue it on the bottom some contact cement whatever 
You've only got a nine skid leg if you don't want it sliding across the floor. If you leave it like this, you'll be able to move it and then re-level it. But there you go. That's today's project. You can make, like I said, you can make as many as you want. You've got a lot of things uh, to make. Just put T-nut at the bottom of a 2 before and, and use the same, put a foot on it like this. And, and you can level all these stands like I have in my shop. Well, thanks for watching, and please subscribe if you like the content, which I hope you do. Uh, and I want to thank all the people that have subscribed. My list is growing every week. I've gained close to uh, 50 new subscribers in the last week. So thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. And we'll see what we got in store next week. Who knows, but we're going to have something. Thank you.